Hello everyone and welcome! In this video we're going to be talking about centrifugal clutches. Now centrifugal clutches can be used on many devices like chainsaws and lawnmowers, but you can also find them on like mopeds or some other smaller motorized vehicles, uh, so they do have a lot of uses out there. So let's walk through all the components involved and then talk about the process. So here we're looking at the centrifugal clutch. Uh, in purple here is the crankshaft and then you've kind of got this block around it. Now on this block uh, you can see there's these two clutch shoes and these two clutch shoes can slide along this block. Uh, they're allowed to move freely but everything's going to be rotating together except for this outer housing. So this outer housing is what would be attaching to your transmission uh, or your drive shaft or whatever of what you're trying to drive. So this is all rotating internally and then this is rotating separately. And so you've got these clutch shoes. Uh, on the clutch shoes you've got a friction pad, a lot like a drum brake. In fact these operate very similarly to drum brakes. Uh, and then you have these springs which are holding the clutch shoes together. Now as you start to uh, spin this up these springs are, aren't going to be able to hold the clutch shoes together so they'll kind of work out. So looking at an example, here's basically an engine uh, with the drive shaft coming in uh, and then that'll be matching up with this centrifugal clutch. Uh, in the case here I've drawn teeth around it um, and so this could be chain driven uh, and then you're driving this driven gear here or a transmission, something like that and then that can drive a driven wheel or device. Um, but essentially what happens is when you're at idle, uh, your engine speed is low enough at which the centrifugal force isn't enough to overcome these two springs, so the springs will hold the clutch shoes together. As you apply more throttle, those springs aren't going to be able to hold them in quite as much as this starts to rotate faster, and so these clutch shoes are going to go out, and as they move out, those friction pads are going to press along this clutch housing and start to rotate it as well. Now it could get to the point where you lock up and then you have you know full torque from the engine supplied through this uh, to the outer housing uh, and then you'll be driving whatever it is you were attempting to drive. So here we have the view while it's at idle and then here we have it with it at throttle as you can see the clutch shoes pressed out and applying uh, that torque to whatever you are driving. So if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.